So you have watched the introduction for the painting project, the first one with tempera, that is the monochromatic animal. And I'm going to show you two different ways you can edit your photos um, once you have found that imagery that you prefer. I am going to have you find three different choices to show me when you come back to school the following week. That way, uh, if some won't work as well, I can say no to those. But then you have three different options. Um, yeah, so if you need them printed, I can print them for you at school. And here is some tips. So I'm just going to look up a chicken. Here, it's a funky one. Uh, say I really like this image. That's great. I'm going to copy it. Put it in my Google Doc. Alright, so this is a nice clear image. If it's blurry when it's made bigger, like just click and drag to make the image bigger if it comes in really small. But if it's blurry, I would try and find a different image. You want to be able to see the details. But the first tip is if this image is selected so it has the blue line around it with the little blue boxes, at the top of your Google Docs you'll see image options here. You can click that and recolor it. And since we are going to be doing this project with one color plus black and white, <clears throat> you can actually kind of play with what color you might want to choose. So you can play around or say, I, I know I'm going to do yellow. Maybe I'll pick this yellow. Okay. Uh, one thing to be aware of, if this is double clicked, it's, go, it's in crop mode. That's that black line to crop your image. Um, when it's in crop mode and you're recoloring it, it doesn't do a full recolor. You have to click off of the image. So, of course, now it's not going. See, now that is how it's supposed to look. So make sure it's not in crop mode when you play with these adjustments. Okay, so that is handy for when you're painting or even just having it in black and white helps you see the light and dark tones without dealing with a bunch of different colors. So even I'm going to be printing these for you if you would like in black and white. So if you want this color version, you'll have to look at your Chromebook which isn't a big deal, but that is some image, image little quick edits in Google Docs that you can do. Um, I'm going to back up a little bit. When finding your image, remember try to find really clear. Um, if it's too zoomed out, that doesn't work. I'm trying to find an example. And it cannot be a already existing painting. It needs to be an actual live animal. Okay, now the second thing is called Croc Art Editor. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So it takes an image like this, so you can still edit in your Google Doc and make it that color, so this yellow color. And then you put it in the editor and it makes the image a paint by numbers kind of like broken apart image, which people seem to really like last year. Here's a couple. What's really nice is you can um, follow these little like puzzle pieces when you lay out in pencil. So your layout takes a while, but then when you paint, it's really quick because you're just filling in the different tones um, for your image. So here's some from last year that people did. Quite a few people use this method and they're really successful. It also helps break up just different tones. This one's really nice. So yeah, the planning takes a while, but once you start filling in, it goes pretty quick and it just turns out really nice. And so that's the examples. I'm going to go back to the first page <clears throat> and show you what this site looks like. So it'll bring you here. I'll have these slides in the week two in desk folder. No, week two at on couch folder. So you guys can use it. Um, so start your project and then and upload a photo. Let's see if I have anything in here. 
Let's see. Well, that's not gonna work. Desktop. Uh, let's do this. I have no idea what this is. Uh, just say yes. Oh. I don't want that. I'm going to borrow one of theirs. Um, a goat. Perfect. So click next. Now this site wants you to pay for stuff, and we're just going to skip this. We're just going to borrow their tools. So it'll bring you to this when you click the next button up here and it takes a little bit to load but it gives you different options so I would try to pick one that you feel like has a good balance of like light and dark and sometimes the let's say it says hardest classic basic easiest like the easiest sometimes is too blocky and you don't get enough details um, so just kind of play around like this has quite a few hairs so let's see basic and I encourage you to choose one that seems a little bit more involved but you can always back off some of the details so waiting for this to load <clears throat> so this one I feel like has a good breakup but I'm losing some of the eyes so I could use this one and then just reference the original photo for the eyes so that I can bring those back so if I'm happy with this um, you're going to screenshot it. So on your Chromebooks, control, shift, and then that little button in the top middle that's got like the box with the two lines. And you're able to drag around it. And then you have your image. So that's two tools you can use. Um, I'd say 50-50. Some 50% 50 of the class usually picks this method since it's already broken down for you. And then 50% usually choose this for their editing and getting ready. So you need to find three different image options of an animal. Um, that way I can approve one for you. Alright, have a good day.